Hello, thank you for joining me at Lisa Marvin Art. Today we're doing a 36 by 40 inch snake skin swipe. Now, my client wanted only golds with some black and white, which is really difficult, and I probably would have put my foot down more next time, but I always like to try to make the client happy. So I've used three canisters of Sherwin-Williams Color to Go. This was actually their deep base tinted white. Now they don't, they're not making the color to go right now. So hopefully they'll come back soon, but it is my favorite one. And I'm just spinning the paint out to make sure that it's level and it will spread nicely. So this is golden bone black. I chose bone black because it's semi-transparent and I was hoping that it, the black wouldn't take over too much of the color. So I tested out a semi-transparent black. My pigments today, they're all from this little piggy, TLP. You can get them from fluidart.co. And I've used all their golds. This gold is harvest gold. It's their deepest gold. I really like it. It's very rich looking. And I've mixed my pouring medium into four ounce cups. So I mixed about eight ounces for each one. I didn't use all eight ounces. But you can see in this one, I did use both of my cups of Harvest Gold. Video number 82, I believe, is how I mix up my pigments and colors into my pouring medium. Next, I'm putting T TLP Ore, which is their lighter gold, which is also very lovely. And I'm putting a bit more of it down. So I would say so far about seven ounces of the golds each. Six or seven, don't quote me. Next, I'm just drizzling some more black on top to make sure that there's some tube paints layered within um, my layers of pigments. And here's a little white. This is just golden titanium white in my pouring medium as well. Actually, I think I lied. I think that was TLP ball gown. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, that's an interference gold, which I also love. It did, does look white on the video. And that's one of my favorite colors, TLP lemon sorbet. It looks yellow, but in certain lights, it gives just a beautiful gold. And now I'm topping it off with my golden titanium white. Now my cell, acti my cell activator today, I usually use Payne's Gray, but I ran out. So I mixed up some Prussian blue cell activator because I wanted a darker cell activator and I don't really like using black. I find it too dark. And my cell activator, I use the Shelly Art Recipe, which is Australian Floetrol. And you really have to eyeball it between th four to one and three to one. So I'm gonna lay it down in a line and then I'm gonna take my big swiping tool and try to swipe it across as quickly as possible because it starts to sink very quickly. So at first you can see a bit of the blue coming up but that will disappear. And in this video, it does look darker than it actually is. So if you stick around to the end, you'll see the video in the light, when it's resin, it's much lighter. And 
and I'm just cleaning my tool in between each swipe. And the goal is to swipe only the cell activator over the colors if you can and not pushing into the pillow paint. So you have to have kind of a light touch. I'm just blowing gently down into the cell activator to create some cells where there's big puddles left. Now you can see in that corner, I missed a big spot there. And what I did after it dried is I just put some more gold paint on there so it wasn't as noticeable. I could have done a swipe, but I just didn't think of it at the time to cover it up. And of course I did it right on the other side as well. But the really good thing about this is once it's dry, you can really embellish and fix little mistakes that you made. So it's kind of forgiving in that way. And all that's left to do now is spin it out very carefully. The spinner I'm using, by the way, is a new spinner I got from Jessica Winterstrom, Winterstrom Art. She made it. And it holds up to three feet, but I kind of obviously pushed the envelope a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think. It's super sparkly. And I guess it does kind of look like a snake skin. And most importantly, my client loves it. And that's all that matters. Thank you so much for joining me. And let me know if you have any questions and let me know what you think of this piece. Have a good day. Bye.